What's going on YouTube? Jeans here and Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays, all that good stuff. If you guys do not celebrate the holidays or are watching this video after it's been released on Christmas, hopefully you guys are just enjoying your day. But we're back today bringing you guys some more Regulation F content and this time we're using Motor Drive Electrifier. Now Motor Drive Electrifier is great paired up with Kilowattro because Kilowattro can freely use Discharge, giving Electrifier a speed boost every time it gets hit with an electric move, I should say. So pairing up both these Pokemon make for a very strong combo. Electivire is over here with the Assault Vest as its item, and then just rocking the Stellar Terror type, which is brand new, and I cannot wait to use it. It's got Ice Punch, Wild Charge, Stomping Cantrum, and Rock Slide for a crazy cool move set. It's got a lot of coverage moves and can pretty much attack any Pokemon at once. Like I already mentioned, we're pairing up Electivire today with Kilowattle. Now, Kilowattle is a great Pokemon for two reasons. One, we already mentioned the Discharge and the Motor Drive Electivire combo, but two, it outspeeds most Pokemon and it can set up Tailwind for a squad. It's got competitive as ability, then you got the Focus Sash as item with Discharge, Electro Ball, Tailwind, and Protect. The other four Pokemon are straight meta Pokemon. You got Rillaboom, who has been so good ever since it's been brought back into this game. Incineroar, top tier as always. And then you got Urshifu and Fluttermane, making for a very solid team. And honestly, we should be able to grab ourselves a winning record, no problem. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Mr. Kurtasic. Thank you so much for making this team. Saw this team over on Twitter, so I will be linking everything down in the description below. Alongside with the Poke Base. So if you guys want to check out any stats, moveset, all that good stuff, make sure you head down. Like I said, link is down in the description below. But first match is here. High Drapple team, alongside with Iron Crown, Malamar, and Incineroar. Very cool team. I'm actually really liking it. They also have Amoogus, and last but not least, they do have Raquinid. So for a lead here, I like Electivire and Kilowattro. I think it's a great lead. We can really get rolling there. Plus, we have a bunch of coverage moves to do a big time damage on a lot of these Pokemon. So, like I said, gonna lead both those Pokemon. Then as back end players, we're gonna bring in Incineroar. Maybe. Kind of scary with the contrary Malamar. So I might just go Fluttermane. They do have Iron Crown. And I mean Incineroar's not bad up against Iron Crown. It should be super effective. Yes, yeah, so you know what? We're going to go Incineroar. And last but not least, might just want to go Urshifu here. Solid all around. Hits like a truck. I'm all about it. We're going to go in with Urshifu. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But by the time I'm recording this, actually, it is Christmas Eve. I just said Merry Christmas because I upload my videos eight days later. So this video will be live on Christmas. But like I said, it is Christmas Eve, and me and my boys do a Christmas Eve football game every single Christmas Eve in the morning, and I just got done playing in it. A lot of fun. Cannot wait for the next year one, because again, we just all go out there, have a good time, and it just keeps us together, you know? It's just a good time. But they end up going for Intimidate here. We get the competitive boost, which is pretty big, and I think from here, we might just want to swap out Electivire and just Intimidate them. I mean, that would pop contrary, but at the same time, I'm really down to just... Swap Urshifu. Swap into Urshifu, I should say, for Electivire and set up a Tailwind? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm plus two on Special Attack, which is huge. So I'm just going to set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad and look to get after that. I do believe they're going to fake out the Electivire slot, so... Wouldn't be mad. And no, they're going to fake out Kilowattro, which isn't too bad. Unless Malamar KOs me. Could be a scary player. No, he's going to pop a Trick Room instead. Okay, so Trick Room out and about. Trick Room is out and about, and he could party shot here. But the question is, who would he party shot into? Maybe Araquanid. So you know what? I'm just going to drop a close combat, and I'm going to attack this Incineroar. And at the same time, I'm going to throw an Electro Ball over onto the Malamar slot. So Malamar is just so good. It's solid all around. Yep, there's the party shot, and i kind of seen that coming. And I, again, like I think he's going to go into, I think he's going to go into Araquanid. That's why I switched to close combat instead of surging strikes. And let's see if my guess was correct. Is this Raquinid? I believe it's me. No, it's going to be Disney. Hydrapple looking awesome with the shiny. We love it. They're going to drop our evasiveness. And Kilowattro can do a nice chunk of damage here. Plus four now. Plus four. Thank you very much. Skill swap coming out here. And are you just dropping evasiveness more? awesome i'm so cool with that i'm so cool with that because now i'm plus six 
I'm sitting here plus six with Kilowattle. Massive. Very massive. We're gonna say bye, almost bye bye to Squidward over here. Almost bye bye. But I think now it's gonna be a turn just to like maybe swap Urshifu. Because the stat changes are just going crazy. We have a plus six Kilowattle. We gotta waste out some Trick Room turns here. So again, I'm thinking of just U turn in here. Oh, I'm choosing a close combat. But uh, I'm just gonna hard swap into Incineroar. Oh, that would contrary boost. Actually, we're gonna go to Electivire. And I think from here, we're just gonna protect Kilowattle this turn. But I do see them attacking me. Considering I'm plus six, why wouldn't they attack me? So we're gonna hard swap. We're gonna go into Electivire. Electivire is sitting here with Ice Punch. So that could be really good, especially up against this High Drapple. Being four times super effective. And they're gonna end up pressing the Terra button. Oh no. Looking scary. Hopefully they're going after Kilowattle, right? I drop all Terrasalizes, and it goes into the Poison Terror type. That kind of sucks. I do have Stomp and Catcher for that. That's actually really good for me. And we'll kind of get after it that way. So Protect comes out from Kilowattle. I think next turn we drop a Discharge, and we go for a Stomp and Tantrum. Draco Meteor comes out. We're able to block that. And do I swap Kilowattle? That's the real question. I go for a Hypnosis as well. Oh my lord. My evasiveness is down, so he's just going to be able to put me to sleep left and right. That's brutal. That's brutal. That is real brutal. So we have two turns left in Trick Room. We're going to try to attack here. Go for that and go for just a Discharge across the board. Try going to KO me with this Draco Meteor, right? Can you eat that Kilowattro? Nah. The base of this drop just makes High Grapple so good. Because it has such strong moves that have low accuracy. So with the base of this drops, everything's just landing. Everything is just landing. He goes for another Hypnosis. The Double Sleep. And we're just going to go from there. So now, I could go into Incineroar, but I'm just going to go... Actually, I am going to go into Incineroar here. I'm just going to go into Incineroar. Trying to waste out these sleep turns and waste out Trick Room at the same time. This is a tough matchup. So Hydrapple should be minus two, right? Wait, why is Hyd... Oh, he's Skill Swap. He has Contrary on that thing. He's plus two on Special Attack. That is absurd. You are so getting faked out. You are so getting faked out, Mr. Granny Smith Apple. You are so getting faked out. We're not dealing with you. Yeah, you're, you're forced to protect. So he protects. He's going to put my Incineroar to sleep here, right? Is that a correct statement? Oh, I dodged it. That's massive. That's a big time dodge. And Electivire wakes up. That's huge. So Rock Slide needs to connect with the Malmar here. And then we can really get cooking. But they're going to go into Incineroar again here, which is a little tough. It is a little tough. But we're going to figure out ways around this. They're definitely going into Incineroar. The real question is who they're going to fake out. Because this, this high travel is going to be a problem. Yep, there's Incineroar. And from here, I'm thinking... Hmm. What am I thinking here? Hard swap into Urshifu? Hmm. I'm thinking I could just go for Stomping Tantrum. I think I just go for Stomping Tantrum. She's gonna fake out somebody. That's just a problem all around. And you know what? I'm just gonna take off Incineroar's item if I can. So he fakes out my Incineroar. Can Stomping Tantrum pick up a KO? I don't think it can be. Minus one. Yeah, no, it doesn't. And now this thing's probably dropping another Draco Meteor. And she's gonna dump on me, right? Oh, are we dodging that? Oh my lord, Electifier. I love you. I love you. So that's a big time dodge. It's actually a massive dodge. I think from here we drop another stopping tantrum and we just double down into this slot, right? I doubt he protects, right? He protected. Come on, man. Big time protect coming out here. And then he's just gonna party shot, right? Smart plays from our opponent. So we're gonna have to figure out ways around this. We're gonna have to hard swap out in the Earth's field. And we're gonna have to go from there. I really have to get rid of this high drapple though. It's just too big of a threat. So like I said, they're probably parting shot in here, and they're not. They're just going for a straight flare blitz, which is fine because Electivire soaks that. They're just going to take some recoil damage. But to be honest, I'm going to maybe try to look for a flinch here. And then just take out the apple. The apple needs to go. The apple needs to go. It's boosted too much, and we just had to get rid of it. So they don't have Terror type. We still have Terror type. And I have Urshu from the back end, which is massive. It's massive. Flare blitz should be able to finish off the apple. And it does. Big time plays from us. So Apple is gone. We get rid of him. We get rid of the Apple. Cool. So Malmar gone. Apple gone. 
They have Incineroar chilling here. I think Urshfu can be a big time player for us, right? I really do. Another Flare Blitz comes in here and Electivire drops out. So, a little weird battle. Both us and our opponent are playing actually really well. Swapping in and out. And Incineroar is a Pokemon I'm really not worried about. So now I'm going to bring out Urshfu. I still have Terra. Chances are I'm going to Trash Slice in the water. And I'm just going to look to do as much damage as I possibly can. But this is their final Pokemon. We haven't seen it yet. And it's going to be Iron Crown. Ooh, Iron Crown's looking a little scary. Definitely looking a little scary. It's special attacks heightened too. So I definitely want to rationalize you. I'm scared of the psychic moves. And I'm just going to get rid of Incineroar. I got a choice into a move. I got a choice into a move. We're going to choice into Surge Strikes. Best bet. So I'm going to Surge Strikes here. And I'm just going to go for a knockoff into the Iron Crown. Cool. Cool. Not a bad match. Yo, this one's coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Solid match so far. Kilowattle and Electivire. Rocking out today. So we Terrastalize. We don't want to be weak to any of the uh, the Psychic moves. I'm just not trying to deal with that. And I'm looking just to pick up some KOs here. So Surgeon Strikes comes out here. We can wave bye-bye to Incineroar. Get it on out my face. Wow. Only one of them did half HP. <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculously strong when it's Terrastalize. And we got a crit on top of that. So big time damage comes through here. Hopefully Incineroar goes first. I doubt it though, right? No, it doesn't. But Psychic's gonna come through here and the Terra is gonna save her life. We're gonna be able to soak that. And Knockoff's gonna come through here and I was gonna say, should do a big chunk of damage. And on top of that, would have got rid of its item, but it was booster energy. So we're just gonna click Surgeon Strikes. I believe this Pokemon doesn't have any first turn priority moves. So this should be game here. Surgeon Strikes flying through here. And like I said, it's, or Urshfu in the back end is just so good, especially with Terra. We really got to use it well here in match number one. But there's the win. Let's go hop into our second match. Our first match went very, very solid. We ended up picking up the win, but didn't really get to showcase Electivire and Kilowattle too well. So I'm going to be trying to do it again in match number two and using these Pokemon a bit more. But I believe we're versing the same opponent. Is that correct? We are. We are versing the same opponent. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to go competitive Kilowattle alongside with Urshifu. Just in case they want to intimidate me, we can really just like bypass it and kind of get after the match that way. I like it. I can get down. I could also go into maybe like... Hmm. So they're going to try to set up a Trick Room, which is a big time problem. If they do go Fake Out, they would want to set up Trick Room. So to be honest, they could go Amoongus. What should I do here? What should I do here to not allow them to set up Trick Room? It is tough. It is very tough. We're going to go into Incineroar of our own. And on top of that, I'm going to lead Kilowattle. I'm going to bring Electivire in the back end. And last but not least, Urshfu was just too good not to bring in the last match. We're going to be bringing him in here again. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. We're already sitting 1-0. Like I said, like I said, on Christmas, we're sitting 1-0. Even better. Even better. But again, same opponent. We know what they have. They know what we have. So it actually makes this battle a little bit better here. And that first match was just so good. They end up going into these two. So they can pop Trick Room this way. They can easily pop Trick Room this way. Um, we're going to Intimidate, which isn't going to do much. And to be honest, I just want a Flare Blitz. I really just want a Flare Blitz. But I see them just going for like a Rage Powder here. But you know what? I'm just going to Fake Out here. And I'm just going to go into... i go Electro Ball. Could go Electro Ball. Hmm. The faster users than the target, the more damage it does. These guys are rather slow. But, I mean, I should still just go for Electro Ball. Deal as much damage as I can. So, Fake Out's going to come across here. Chip up a little bit of damage. And he's just going to go for the Rage Powder. Okay. So, Rage Powder's up. They're going to get off Trick Room no matter what, which is tough news for us. But Electro Ball's still doing a decent amount of damage. So now from here, I could just actually party shot, but they're going to just Rage Powder again, right? They're just going to Rage Powder, so I might as well maybe just, like, swap an Urshfu at this point. Or I can, I can try attacking him. I could try. I could try. Just go Flare Blitz this slot. Electro Ball this slot. Yeah, I mean, that's our best bet. Yeah, we kind of seen the Rage Powder from 63,000 miles away. 
Very annoying. Rage Powder. They're going to set up the Trick Room no problem here, right? We're going to get rid of the Moongus. And then they're probably just going to bring out Malamar. He's going to eat up on his berry, but it's no problem. Flare Blitz is still going to be able to pick up the KO. Okay, so this thing is a little scary. Are your Calm Mind setting up? Okay, we don't we don't mind that. I thought Trick Room was happening. I thought Trick Room was happening. I don't mind that one bit. I don't mind that one bit, because we say bye-bye to you. We still have Electrobire in the back end. And Flare Blitz should be able to still hit rather hard on this thing. Okay, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool with that. So I think Malamar is going to come out here too. And I think he wants to set up Trick Room. But why is Iron Crown? Look at Iron Crown's head. It's looking the exact same motion up and down as the Kilowatch was flying. I think that's so cool. But Malamar's going to sneak in here. Um, could knock this thing off. We could just go for a Flare Blitz. And I think we want to do as much damage as we possibly can to this thing. So you know what? I'm just going to go Electro Ball. I'm going to go Flare Blitz. Iron Crown has a chance of protecting. Let's just try to stop Trick Room, right? Because if I can stop Trick Room, I can really just bring out Urshifu and just start dominating. Or even Electivire can get some big time damage off onto that thing. Which we love. Which we love. So we'll see. I kinda, I'm, I want a Parting Shot too soon. Might do it next turn. I just need to get off damage on the Malamar. Malamar has got to go. So we're going to see a Terra type. And who is this be? Iron Crown? It's going to be Crown. And he's going to try to slice into straight steel. Straight steel. So I'm guessing he's going for his little signature move. Tachyon Cannon? Tachyon Blade? Whatever it's called. And he might look to KO like my Kilowatt or something. But E-Ball comes out there doing a decent amount of damage. And Psychic's going to fly through here and chuck up some damage on the Kilowatt. Will bring me down to one. We don't like that. I'm telling you right now. We don't like that one bit. Boy, but now comes out here. Can this KO please? Probably not, right? Yeah, no. And Trick Room's going to come out and about. Brutal news here. Brutal. No foul play. No trick room. I've been waiting for these uh, trick rooms to come out here. Been waiting for these trick rooms. And to be honest, I think now is just a perfect time to just protect the Kilowatchel and parting shot into the Iron Crown. Yeah, because if you're not setting up trick room, I just don't want to deal with you, right? I could take out the Malamar, which would be smart. It would be smart, but I have a feeling you're not setting up trick room. If you didn't do it the last turn, why would you do it this turn? Right? It makes sense. So, I would think it would be very weird if he doesn't set up Trick Room. If you do not set up a festive Christmas Trick Room here. Please don't. We don't want that. So, I'm just going to protect the Watch here. Tachyon Cutter going to come out here. And he's going to actually go after Incineroar. Which should be able to eat. He has to hit me twice. Oh, wow. That did a huge chunk of damage. And Malamar, what are you doing? What is Malamar doing? So we get the parting shot out here. Again, I'm really hoping this thing's not going for Trick Room. I doubt it is. I'm going to go into Electivire here. Electivire is just a solid Pokemon to rock into here. If you don't go for Trick Room. Cool, Foul Play's coming out here. Beautiful, and we block it. So I make the right call. I get Kilowatt and Electivire finally out on this field. Um... From here, we should just go stopping tantrum in this slot and just discharge across the board, right? Yeah, we get that motor drive boost, and then we should be able to outspeed the, the Iron Crown. And I think this charge should be able to KO this Malamar. Which could be nice. So there's the motor drive. Here's the combo that we want to do all along. Discharge gonna fire. And it leaves Malamar on one. That hurts the soul. Stopping tantrum comes across and it picks up the KO, no problem. My boy Electivire. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. So the motor drive combo, the protect last play, keep a killer watch on the field, was just a big play for us. And finally they put up Trick Room, but so upsetting that we didn't pick up the KO with this charge. One HP little bandit over here. A one HP bandit. Really hurts the soul. They bring out Granny Smith. They don't have terror type, which is huge. So I can freely drop an ice punch. They do have hypnosis though, and that's what scares me a little bit. If they hypnosis my Electivire. Oh, that could be brutal. So I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. Can Stellar Terror type be considered a grass? Can we not go to sleep with that? I feel like that makes sense, but it doesn't at the same time. But obviously, I'm just going to go for a Discharge here. And he's just going to go for an Earth Power. Which we soak. 
which would be so cool. Are you also going for foul play? And you're going for a skill swap, so that's perfect. That's perfect. That just wraps up the match. Trying to get contrary on that thing. Bad turn there. Definitely a bad turn. Should have just attacked my Electrovire. You would have had a shot, but we play this one so well. We're actually going to sweep here. Kilowatt are killing it on a stat boost, and Ice Punch is going to definitely finish this thing off, right? Bring you down the one. What is up with the one HP bandits? I don't understand. Luckily, I'm throwing Discharge across the field. Gonna finish off with a double kill and Electivire and Kilowatch will kill it in match number two. Final match on its way, and I've been loving how we've been playing on the casual ladder. But now we're going up against a rain team with Swampert. Absolutely love Swampert, but the thing about it is it is part ground type, which makes it amazing. They also have Incineroar, they got Pelipper, they got Superior, and then they got the uh, the bridge, Archaludon, and Raging Bolt. I want to go into Electivire and Kilowattrel here again. If they do end up going into Incineroar, we will just pop competitive, and Kilowattrel can get Thriving out from there. Rillaboom's also going to be a solid Pokemon, so I kind of just want to bring him in here, right? Fake out, Grassy Glide, Woodhammer. Can't go wrong with that. Final Pokemon, gotta be Urshfu, right? Got to be Urshfu. So I'm going to rip up with Urshfu here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down, and look to grab ourselves a win here in our third and final match. We versed the same opponents twice in match number one and match number two. And we got the best of them both times, which is awesome. But like two different ways, right? That the battle wasn't exactly the same. The first match, they kind of countered our Electivire and Kilowattrel. And then we kind of finished it up with uh, Urshfu in the back end. But then the third match, or the second match, we kind of switched it up. And then eventually got Electivire and Kilowattrel out on this field at the same time. And just dominated from there. So great calls in RN. I was just super surprised they didn't pop Trick Room a lot earlier in the game. So then I'm going Incineroar and Swampert, which is fine. I might have to just swap my Electifier. But competitive's going to get popping. We love a good old competitive. Dude, they just been popping my competitive all day today. All day today, Kilowatch has just been plus two on special attack. So they can fake me out. They can do a lot here. I could go for Rock Slide. I'm thinking of just swapping him, right? Into Rillaboom. Yeah, we're going to swap in the Rillaboom, and I'm just going to protect Kilowatch. I would think they would fake me out, right? And I would think they would go for a ground move into Electivire. So swapping in the roll boom, gonna be wonderful. We can really get after it that way. All right, I like it. I can get down. So it's been tough for us to get out Electivire and Kilowattle. People have just been getting after me, right? But here's a great swap for us. I wanna send that terrain down. And we'll see who Incineroar wants to fake out. I would think it would be Kilowattle being plus two on special attack, right? It just makes the most sense. Yeah, easy reads. Easy reads all day. So we put up the block. I wonder what Swamp pursuing. Probably going for like a ground move. No, you go for an ice punch. Doubling down the kilowatt. Woo! Big time protect. We ready to rock. So what I think happens now is Incineroar probably is like, yo, Rill Boom's on the field. He poses a massive threat to my Swamper. First off, we're gonna read out what Swamper wants to do, and we're just gonna drop a nice little fake out. And on top of that. I think we just rip into Incineroar here, right? Because Swampert might Terrasilize, it might Protect, and he might rip a Flare Blitz into me. So let's just double down to Incineroar here and read out what the Swampert wants to do, right? And there's the Terra. So good call for us. Good call for us just to attack the Incineroar. So we got Terrasilize here, actually making it vulnerable to nice little Electro Balls. And Discharge can come out here whenever we want. That's not bad. So it loses its ground typing, which we love. And Fake Out is now going after Incineroar. So we Fake Out Incineroar, we drop an Electro Ball, plus two, and big time damage comes across the board. Of course, you're rocking the berry. Kind of annoying. And we'll see how this next turn plays out. We'll see what Swampert wants to do here. Ice Punch. So you're still going after me here. I'm able to soak. And I think a solid turn for us would be to just swap Rillaboom back out, right? We could go back into Electivire if we want to. And just Motor Drive boost it. I think that's more so my play. You go for a discharge. Nice. So, real boom, thanks for coming out here. You're going right back into the party. Right back into the party. Like the Vire now comes out. And discharge is cooking. So, we'll get that plus one speed boost, which is huge. And on top of that, we're plus two on special attacks. So, we should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Awesome. Any paralyzes? One paralyze. Show me two. Give me two. Give me two paralyzes. Nah, one. What is up with the berries, man? Lumberry, that's perfect. Cures to paralyze and temper flares gonna fly through. What you so right? Oh my lord! Chill! Chill! Double down! They thought I was protected. They doubled down into my electivire. 
Hurts the soul, man. The double down. Wasn't expecting the double down there. Could go back in the roll boom, but Urshifu's to play all day. Now time to bring out Urshifu. Um, we can choice into Surge and Strikes if we want to. I think it should be enough to KO that. And I'm going to do that. What other Pokemon do you have? Pelipper. If you bring out Pelipper, the problem is Rain is still going to hit like a truck. Superior. A little scary, but you know what? We're Terrasalizing. We're Surge and Strikes. And then Electric Ball coming out here. Really double down like the Who's about to thrive out? We're about to crush it with them. We're about to crush it. Get that plus one speed boost. Ooh. Thinks we're gonna get toasty. But still, I feel like we played pretty decent with Electivire today. Doing some work onto uh Pokemon. So from here, they might even swap in Sinor. I think that's what they're thinking about. Swapping the Cinnamon and saving it for later, but at that point, whoever they swap into is going to have to eat up an Electro Ball from plus two kilowatt. Roll. And there's the withdrawal. See, I told you. I'm playing good today. I got, I'm got. I'm making some good reads. They're going to go into Arch Ludon. Okay. I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that too much. But I'm going to take out Swampert here, and on top of that, we're going to get off some decent damage. The thing is stamina boost, but I do have crit hits, which is awesome. Big time crit hits. So we still have Rillaboom in the back end. Rillaboom's gonna be okay here. I feel like with all these typings, they're really kind of locking us down on the grass side. Because we don't have any other moves besides grass. But Surge Strike's gonna fly here. Good thing we did Terrasalize. We're doing a huge chunk of damage. And we're gonna be able to KO. It would have been close if we didn't Terrasalize. So bye-bye Swampert. Lecture Ball coming out here. They might go back into Incineroar, which I wouldn't mind at all. I wouldn't mind if they go into a Cinderella, because then I just get competitive again. The Electro Ball, not doing anything crazy. Stamina's getting boosted. Do they go back into Urshfu here? Or not Urshfu, Incineroar. I would. I personally would, just for the fake out, right? No, they go into Pelipper to set up the one-shots. They go into Pelipper to set up the, the, uh, the one-turn uh, Electro Shot. And I'm twisting the certain strikes, and I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna double down and sing. Actually, we're gonna go into a discharge. I don't know how much damage we're gonna do on the Archer Ludon. I really don't know. That thing's just a threat to me right now. He ends up protecting Pelipper, and he's probably gonna take out my Urshfu, right? How much damage are we gonna do here? We got crits, so let's see. In the rain. Yeah, this thing's just too bulky. He's gonna beat us this match. Stamina getting after it. We just really don't have any way of KO in this thing. Unless he goes after Kilowatch on this turn. Which I highly doubt, right? Highly doubt. The Surgeon Strike's doing big chunks of damage. He's gonna go for that Electro Shot. He's just gonna KO Urshfu. That's gonna wrap up the game. That's gonna wrap up the game for sure. Faux sure. show. For sure, let's see it. Yeah, there it is. Unless, again, you're going after Kilowatch, would that be amazing? That would be amazing. But again, no, it's it's just not happening. We're gonna go 2 1 for today's video. Yep. Turns right towards my Urshfu. That be the ball game. See you later, Urshfu. I think Arch Luna is just so good. Stamina, Arch Luna, and Rain is just ridiculously strong. It really is. Every time I've been facing it, it's just been always such a such a challenge to like deal with, you know? But hey, I'll take a 2 1 winning record all day. We don't win this match. We do not win this match. We're in such a rough position. Such a rough position. Ever since they doubled down to the Electivire, they didn't. We would have actually been sitting pretty good, but great plays on their end. I'm honestly just going to run this match, and we're going to go 2-1. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Using Motor Drive Electivire, alongside with Competitive Kilowattro, killed the casual ladder day. We go 2-1, alongside with some great meta Pokemon. This team was just awesome. Yeah, Electivire with the Stellar Terror type, which we actually didn't use in today's video. Then we had Assault Vest with just an amazing moveset. Ice Punch, Wild Charge, Stomping Tantrum, and Rock Slide. Just so many coverage moves that you can just like basically get off a super effective move on most Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spazzy today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.